Tell me about the time you got to interview Howard Stern. We started Whoa. talking about that. We uh, did at dinner, and I want to I want to hear a little more about that story. It's cool. I, I'm so glad that I remembered that because it's been a while since I've thought about that. So I did actually get to interview Howard Stern when I worked at the McKeesport Daily News. Um, it was awesome because his his movie Private Parts was coming out, and he was on a, obviously a media tour to promote it. And his folks you know, reached out to all the various you know, institutions to line up interviews. They lined ours up for, it was, it was early in the morning and it was on a Thursday, if I remember correctly. And um, they gave us a number to call in. We called in the number and they were like, well, thanks for calling in. Like, yeah, he's running behind. Can you call us back like in an hour? But he's, he's going to do this. We're like, okay, wait an hour. So we're like, wait an hour. We did this like four or five times until <laughs> like literally we're like, we're thinking, is this going to happen or not? But his people kept reassuring, like he's just running behind. He He's talking to everybody. He's very passionate about this. So uh, it was great to have good communication. We knew he was serious. And then like the magic moment happened. It's like we called and, and they give us a very like a, a, a very discreet amount of time. They're like, you, you have this much time. And then at that point in time, we're going to have to cut you off because he's got to get to the next interview. So we're like, okay, we'll, we'll make the best of this. And so we had him on speakerphone. I was interviewing him along with our, our editor of the, uh, of, of the, uh, the entertainment section and we we're firing questions off. But he got on the phone and we were expecting him to be like, you know, the Howard Stern, like you know, making fun of us somehow. Like he couldn't see us, but we we're, were thinking somehow he'd know who we are and he'd be like somehow poking fun of us like he would any guest <laughs> on his show but he was all like saying how happy how excited he was about the movie and he was like what do you want to ask me and then we went into our questions but i remember i i had to ask him i was like well howard i was like you know what was your favorite like scene in the movie like what got you most excited about making a movie and he's like i gotta be honest with you he says i tell you what man it was doing the bathtub scene with with jenna jameson <laughs> <laughs> i was like well why he was like jenna jameson in a bathtub man he was like i had wood and i was like <laughs> I would assume you would. <laughs> it was just so funny because he was just, it was him being Howard Stern at that point yeah, before he kind of, I knew Howard Stern's become a lot less like he was in the day when he would, you know, be very misogynistic for lack of a better term. I, I kind of liked the older days just because that was entertaining. And yeah, it was definitely fun. It was just different, but I love Howard Stern anyhow. But he was, he actually like, thanked us for waiting and took the time. I just, I, he came across as being a very genuine person and I was like, man, I'd love to have a beer with you. Just, to think about what he had been through and, and him just revolutionizing radio and communication. For sure. 